brown. That's the other thing I wanted to mention. What do you pair with navy? Oops, my bag just ended up on the floor. Hello everyone, I am doing an outfit of the day video today. I'm using my vlogging camera because I thought it would be interesting to just film without a microphone and my vlogging camera allows me to do that and also to film without the studio lights, just use the ceiling light that's here in the room. It's more natural, you can get a better idea of, I guess, I'm thinking of what I look like at least in real life and indoors because some of you had said oh I don't have circles under my eyes but I want you to see that yes I do um, it's just that the lights you know often make me look better than I really do in real life so I thought it would be good for you to see me in real life the only challenge is that this is kind of dark and it creates a shadow but I thought it'd be good to do this once in a while dresses. I wanted to talk about dresses because I have been investing in dresses more in the last year for a couple of reasons. One, I discovered they make life so easy when you're getting dressed in the morning or if you want to last minute go out at night with your girlfriends or with your husband or your significant other. All you have to choose is one item. Once you choose your dress, then all you have to worry about is your shoes and handbag jewelry and you're out the door. Well, makeup and hair, but I'm figuring you're already doing that. So it reduces the amount of selecting you have to do. Also, you can find styles that are just so comfortable. And in the summer here, they're also cool. I find dresses are wonderful for Florida. The other thing is if you get a dress in a seasonless material like this is, I will put the mixture, it's a blend of man-made fabrics, I'll put the blend here on the screen, I don't remember what it is, but they make it really easy for traveling. This dress you could just roll it up, put it in your carry-on, when you get to your destination, shake it out and you could wear it. I have gone out the door without ironing something in one of these dresses that had just come. I had hung it up. It had been hanging up for a couple of days. I didn't iron it. I wore it and it looked great. So seasonless material. That's a really good material to look for. Navy and white. That's the other thing I wanted to talk about. It's a classic color combination in fashion, in home design. And if you're a black and white lover, but you want to make a slight change, maybe you're not ready to go too crazy, Navy and white is a good place to go because it's just slightly softer in tone, just a bit more understated and a great way to move into the spring summer season. I've been finding a lot of navy and white dresses online in sheath dresses, shift dresses, wrap dresses, fit and flare dresses. This one I guess you would call it a sheath dress because it is a column like a shift dress but it's nipped in at the waist. I will put on my blog all those really cute navy and white dresses I found online. The dress I'm wearing is about a year old. I bought it somewhere in the last year. So this exact dress in this print is not available, but I did find this exact dress in some other prints and I will put those on my blog. One was blue and pastel blue on white background. Makeup. I am doing a no makeup look today. This is another thing Moving into spring, summer, we spend a lot of time outside here in Florida year round, but up north you are going to start spending more time outside probably as it gets warmer. And what I like to do is have a makeup look that doesn't look like makeup when I know I'm going to be outside, say I'm going to a barbecue or a casual luncheon outside. I want to look like I have no makeup on, but I don't want to go without makeup because I have dark spots, I have. I might have blemishes, and I just like to enhance my look a little. That's when I do my no makeup look. 
the way I make it, the way I make it look like no makeup is I use my foundation as a concealer rather than as an all over foundation. For this makeup look, I'm wearing foundation, lip color, and I'm using the same lip color on my cheeks and mascara, and that's it. All the products are 100% natural. This is the lip color, and it's, what is it? Cactus Bloom. It's a wonderful orangey coral. I thought it would go with the coral in my dress. That's why I picked it. And I'm wearing this on my lips and my cheeks. This is a matte color. Oh, brown, that's the other thing I wanted to mention. What do you pair with navy? Oops, my bag just ended up on the floor. What do you pair with navy? You can obviously put it with navy bag, navy shoes, but you can also do brown. I'll never forget in the 80s when I was producing one of my first fashion shoots for a magazine here in Florida. I later became the editor of that magazine, but I was an editorial assistant at the time, and I was working with a local store that carried Ralph Lauren. It was called Mettler's. It's no longer, I don't think they're in business anymore, but it was, I think, 84, 85, and uh, they brought the clothing. They styled everything. They brought these beautiful navy and white dresses and they had belted one of them with a brown leather belt and brown pumps, leather pumps, the most gorgeous combination. I'd never seen brown leather used with navy. And from then on, I was hooked. I love that combination. It's another way to soften navy a little bit, it makes it just a little bit more casual, interesting. You can also pair black with navy. Um, or a pop of color, like I said earlier, like the, the coral orange or bright pink. Coming up next is my outfit. I will list everything I talked about, all those dresses, my makeup products, my accessories on my blog, and that link to my blog will be down below. It will say all item links for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye. I'm back because I realized when I left the house, I didn't explain very well what I meant by using my foundation as concealer. What I meant was I put the foundation only where I want to conceal dark spots or blemishes. I have discoloration here, here, a dark spot or two here, discoloration on my chin, um, my upper lip, and red spots here. So that's where I concentrated the foundation, but only maybe light coverage. I didn't even do medium coverage. And then whatever was left on that one brush, I just dotted it over the rest of my face and down my neck. But you can see I didn't put any foundation everywhere. Here, I don't have any, so that I have 
a, a more natural look. So this is what it is up close. I think I did a pretty good job of, you know, not looking like I have makeup on. Let me back out again. As I said before, I'm just using three makeup products. That's it. Thank you again for watching my video, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.